Welcome back everyone to the Victory of the Duel Monarchy Mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalov. And right now, the King Alexander has been shot dead while driving through a throng of supporters in Belgrade. The King was shot twice by a Mauser C96 pistol, wielded by MVMRO assassin Vlado Chernozemski. He died almost instantly, instantly while Chernozemski uh, was beaten to death by the police and bystanders for horrific actions. Our glorious is King's staunch view on Serbification policies in Macedonia is incredible and famously incendiary. In one particular incident, he publicly slapped a school child who identified as Bulgarian. Needless to say, the king being a target for the VMRO is no surprise. For what little evidence the police have been able to gather, Alexander's assassination has been one planned for a long time, having been attempted and called off several times. The fact that the police didn't cotton or caught on to uh, Chernos. Chernozemski's actions beforehand is scandalous, but in the midst of the other VMRO chaos, it was hard to see such a brazen act coming nonetheless. The king is now dead. On this dark day, his elder son Peter will succeed him as king. And so Peter's reign is long and fruitful. The king is now dead. Unfortunate. Uh, quite unfortunate. Lost all the political power, but hey, Mr. Okay, Peter's here. Got a couple comments to go through. It is April, almost May, 1939. So, uh, Silver asks, can Tito come to power in this mod, in the socialist path? That's a very good idea, or a very good question, actually. Uh, we do get the advisor of Ivo Lola Ribar, Peter's coronation, of course, will be next. Peter II dies. The CRSV becomes leader. Um, anyone here? Anyone here? Anyone here? Anyone? Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. It, no, maybe not. Sima Markovic. Today, the young crown prince Peter underwent his coronation, being crowned as Peter II of King Peter II of Serbia, being anointed in the halls of St. Michael's Cathedral. In a ceremony eerily similar to the late king, Prime Minister Zikov, Zikovic gave a short, rousing speech to try and bring some lev levity to the somber event before passing on to the new king. Speaking a few words of his own, Peter had hoped that the nation could recover from the shocking assassination of his father, and pledged to ensure that all people within the Serbian nation would be welcome within his realm. Despite this apparent support for constitutionalism, the juvenile king will all of an hour will almost certainly remain controlled by Zikovic's government before, both and after he comes of age. The mood may be muted, however. Today's ceremony is an important one for Serbia's continued existence as a stable nation. With the kingdom secured, we can finally go out and finally rooting out the VMRO menace once for all. A bittersweet celebration, even though I'm pretty sure we got rid of that, didn't we? We still have the effects of the stock market crash, but other than that, we got rid of the VMRO. We actually hoard this area, so... Yeah, weird. Very weird. The dream fulfilled. Well, we need to own a lot of places, which we will do again eventually. We will do together against Austria eventually. Stabilize a Serbian state. Freedom of the press. Uh, rights. Those are okay and all, but... Hmm, I don't lose political power. It's not bad. But improved troop movement. Let's go ahead and come over here, maybe. An independent economy. After the Valkyrie, the Habsburg menace has devastated our economy by exploiting the agriculture within Serbia. After the occupation, our economy was still recovering, and by the time we finally saw some growth again, the Vienna stock market crash happened, causing our economy to sink into a depression once more. <clears throat> but now, after all the reform, we have, at last, a strong and, above all, independent economy. Which is pretty darn bueno and happy June 1939. My apologies about that. My cat wanted to be let out of the room. But another comment. Someone recommends we try out Lithuania sometime. Cool. Yeah, maybe we will. I heard recently the time this recording there was Lithuania's Independence Day. So we'll see what happens. Um, no guarantees. But just there's so many mods and so many nations to go through. So we'll get there maybe eventually. Uh, I asked you guys what our Intel name should be. And overall, someone recommended we should go with the Black Hand. Just because that's pretty tried and true. So we might as well, right? Agatha Jovan Maric. I'll go with you. Cool. I love having four research slots. It is 39. I'm going to grab some of this. I like the fuel storage stuff, so. I never I never build it, but I like it. And try out the Thousand Week Reich Serbia mod, because there's many different pathways you can go down in that mod. Eventually. We'll probably do it eventually. I'm not sure when, but eventually. Trading the new guard, a bonus for land auction would probably be really nice. Do we need any more steel? Oh, uh, yes, we will. We definitely, definitely will. Uh, that's not bad. Hmm. Is that us? Is Zastava, which would be good to do. Land auctions are very nice. So, train the new guard, perhaps? The Bell Creek ended many years ago, and much of the old guards either died or moved on. It's high time to train a new class of officers to lead our troops, armed with the vital knowledge of their predecessors, because getting through that land doctrine is going to be super, super important. We want to get through there as fast as possible. It is 39. Maybe we'll grab some more artillery, perhaps. That sounds like a pretty good idea. And I did use some army XP off screen because I wanted to make some 7-2s. Make sure we get some uh, artillery on here as well. Save some of our guns. Use up some more artillery. So hopefully that'll be okay because we're out of guns actually right now. So yeah, not great. Not great at all. 
So I don't mind maybe switching one or two of these divisions over to this. We need a lot more artillery, but we'll save 600 guns and a little bit more manpower, which is pretty nice. Independent economy, nice. Training new guard, or the new guard, really. Very, very good. Uh, that's a little better. Guns looking slightly better. We'll change maybe two more, perhaps. One, two. No, not that one, not that one. Uh, let's chain it to that one. There you go. And make sure everyone is training and having a good old time. All right. Next issue will be done in two days. Fuel storage. Maybe get some synthetic oil experiments. Maybe improve our guns. We'll see. But after this one... Oh, integrate the Mon Montenegrin economy. Uh, what do we want? Stabilize the Serbian stuff. Uh, more stability is always good. Losing political power is not always good to do. Spend the Serbian air aviation stuff. Begin mechanization. Get some fighters. Four Mountaineer divisions will be deployed, which would be very nice. Let's organize the chat next, just because it is 1939 September, and I would like to get some recon, even though I don't think we have recon companies yet. But, ever since the end of the Valkyrie, the Serbian Chechniks that fought so bravely through an ultimate ultimately doomed war have been divided and aimless. But bring their commanders back, we can foster a uni unified association of Chechniks that can effectively fight for Serbian interests. We get slightly more population and more recon, which would be quite good. Lessons of the war... Ooh, my arm XP would not be bad. A lot of uh, land auction bonuses, which is not bad at all. Uh, prospecting would not be bad. Greek resurgence res resurrects Megali idea. The Greeks have become increasingly revanchist over the last several months, making motions at resurrecting the Megali idea, which aims to reclaim ethnically Greek land, but goes so far beyond their traditional territory, including Suman and the western coast of Anatolia, which are primarily Turkish. We can warn them to abandon these rash claims entirely or go along with them, even though it means likely dragging the Balkans leak into the war. Support them no matter what. Oh, that's probably not a good idea, but... And just because we beat the Ottomans have been beaten by the Arab League doesn't mean they're, they're weak at all, so... Well, we're going to support them anyways, because we can. Uh, I'll leave my horses. You can have horses to come down here and help, maybe. But I don't really plan on fighting them, so... Good luck. If they land on Greek shores, then maybe, but still. I don't think their navy's that good to help them out. So we'll see what happens. Good artillery. Maybe get some anti-air, get some better guns, perhaps, as well. Thank you. Yeah, I do have a little bit of tiny, tiny, tiny bit of anti-air. Oh, uh, we're going to need some guys around here, aren't we? Uh, division. We're probably going to need Mr. Defense over there. So, I'm going to wait maybe to grab that. Tito's here, too, though. Moscow Alliance, very nice. Uh, speed, attrition, speed. Uh, oh, there goes the common France. Second Bell Creek has begun. Air superiority would probably be pretty good to do. I want to save our political power, maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Engineers, like I said, I would love engineers, but we don't have enough support companies. Uh, well, maybe not. Let's grab some of that then. And just in case, let's grab some more war support. That seems pretty good to us. Bulgaria's, oh boy, that's not good. I don't like that. And we just made another division, nice. Greece declared war on, hello. Hopefully they don't have that many divisions, and we're going to go straight into Tirana. Alright, they're done. Netherlands joined the Berlin Pact. Cool. Organize the Chetniks. Lessons of the war. Hmm. Oh, it's for engineers. Oh, we could have waited for that. Civilian factory. We can probably do that one. Expand the Radinak steel mill. The steel mill in Radinak is one of Serbia's few and most important steel producers. Expanding will reduce our reliance on imports, as steel is the base of most heavy industries. Nice. Well, that actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it, looking like that. Kind of nice. Alright, so let's give Greece what they wanted from this, so. Um. <sighs> Technically, we could just puppet them, but they don't have that much manpower anyways. I'd rather probably just occupy them, I'll be honest, probably. Right. Just because they don't have that much manpower. Oh, wait. Wait, what happened? Oh, they're. Oh, well, I guess we puppeted them anyways. Whoops. I wanted to have direct control over them, but hey, you know what? Screw it. Whatever. They can still get... How much manpower do they have? No divisions. They have 6,000 manpower, which is not very good. But they still have the generic focus tree, so they'll probably go down the way we want them to go. And they can still build up themselves a little bit more, so... I would have preferred to have the factories right underneath us, but whatever. You could, oh, yeah, and we also invited everyone else to the Balkan Research Initiative. We might as well do it with these guys, right? Might as well. After that, let's go ahead and do what? Found... Oh, yeah, it's the FOMU. The weapons and munitions factory in Uzich, or FOMU, 
as one of Serbia's most important producers of military equipment and, of course, munitions. All will be needed in the future as a storm brews over the Balkan region, which is going to happen no matter what happens. So, good. At least you guys won. That's nice. Uh, oh, protect Belgrade. Hey, look, factories. Well, I did want more anti-air and some more support equipment, so... Let's see what happens. You divisions, can we throw anything on you guys? No engineers. We're going to need engineers for real Z's, though, against some peoples. Oof. How are you guys looking? You guys are 24 combat with me. I do want to expand this group as well. So we'll see. Fomu, yes, please. Um, Actually, do we get any daily army speed? Yes, we do. That's good. Fighters are nice. That's pretty nice. We'll probably need more guns and artillery. Let's go up to two, three. Let's go three for now. Five. Two, that's okay. So we should more army XP, I'll be honest, man. This, these guys will be pretty tough to beat, hopefully. FOMU, Russian Republic declared war on Armenia, which is not bad. Hopefully we can get the Russians to go to war with the Ottomans, so we can kill them off as well, so. We shall see what happens, shall we? And what are we building? Oh, roads? Ah, that's going to do this then. If we're running out of places to build stuff in. Do we have any more? Yeah, we do have some more room, which is pretty nice. But building up the roads there would not be a bad idea, so we can get some more steel and stuff like that. There you go. There you go. Not bad, not bad. 15 and 0. That's not ideal. Special projects. Holy crap, that's a lot. We'll keep building ourselves up for now. We'll see what happens. And hopefully Russia goes to war with the Austro-Hungarians, and which then we'll go to war with them as well, probably. But support is this... Zastava. Zastava is one of the Serbia's oldest companies and its main producer of firearms and artillery pieces. Supporting them will never be beneficial as we continue to rearm and recoup our military. Get a bonus for infantry weapons. Nice. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's grab some improved computing machine. That'd be very good. Found FOMU. Very nice. And support this group. Great, great, great. Keep building up them roads. It's good, good, good. And I'll probably do lessons of war as well. As glorious as our victory over the Bulgarians were, it wasn't a flawless one. Armed with vital experience from the front lines, the Reform Council has already drawn up plans to overcome the mistakes we made, and it's time to put them into action. Yeah, yeah definitely go over here. That'd be nice. Anyone that uses less anti-partisan, do passive defense. The Austrians probably want to really infiltrate our booty, so. Oh, that wouldn't be bad either to do that one. And I did say I'd switch over this one. No, it was this one. To Zestava. Because 5% soft attack and breakthrough is not bad, but 5% more defense and 10% more soft attack is pretty good. It is 40. Let's grab some more defense. That'd be good. All right. Let's see. Well, we don't have enough army XP yet again, so what do you expect? Synthetic oil experiments. Not bad. Grab some more soft attack. Thank you. We're really just waiting for Russia to go to war with these guys. What is Russia up to right now? Southern th Thrust. Never mind. Well, all right. After that one. Uh, together against Austria-Hungary. With the Bulgarian threat eliminated, it is time to turn our attention to our next and greatest enemy. The Austrians have been oppressing fellow Serbs for centuries, and our previous attempt failed, and we have an opportunity to right this historical wrong. The Habsburgers are isolated. It is time to strike the dying husk once and for all. Good. We, get, we lose political power, but that's okay. Let them struggle against each other, hopefully. Passive defense, portable radios, perhaps. Victory in the Balkan War. Uh, after years of planning and preparation, the combined forces of the Balkan League are now stand victorious of the Bulgar menace. No longer can the Bulgarians pressure us into doing their bidding because we are now the masters of the Balkans. Our victory came at a cost, of course, and many brave men gave their lives to achieve our long-held dream, and it is their lives that we will celebrate in this stunning victory. Yet even after reclaiming our rightful territories from the clutch of the Bulgarians, our mission isn't over. Austria-Hungary stands firm to the north, oppressing their South Slavic population and doing the Habsburgs' bidding. This cannot stand. We must right the wrongs of the Valkyrie and finally take a revenge against Vienna. Though, to ensure unity among the Balkan League, a second meeting with the members of the Balkan League will be held in the coming weeks. Send out invitations. All right, is everyone done training? You should be mostly done by now for almost everybody. You do have 22 divisions here, which is not bad, actually. Delegates arrive. Today, a multinational throng of diplomats, observers, and military officials descended on Belgrade to attend the second meeting of the Balkan League in Belgrade. In a short speech, the Prime Minister asked and thanked all of the delegates for attending, and then gave a toast to our certain victory over our mutual enemies in Vienna tomorrow. The serious discussions will begin concerning everyone's claims on Habsburg territory and our approach to dealing with them, but today is a day to cherish this rare celebration of a pan-national unity. Let the meeting begin. 
deciding on a goal. Our overall aim might be unified, but there are multiple ways we can approach dealing with Vienna. The more radical delegates of the League are calling for a war to bleed the Austro-Hungarians dry in revenge for the actions during the Valkyrie. On the other hand, the modern diplomats are favoring a more diplomatic approach, hoping to negotiate with Vienna rather than purely belligerent, being, being purely belligerent towards them. <clears throat> A peaceful approach would likely be preferable, but few options are as optimistic about Austria's chances of actually going to the negotiating table. Ultimately, the leading Serbian delegates have the final choice over what approach we should take. After And after some hours of backroom meetings, they return to the Congress with a course of action. Force to war. Yeah. Alright. Do we have any planes? Yes, we do. We have a few planes here. Not bad. Obviously not as many as Austria-Hungary has, but probably not nearly as many as Russia has. And that's okay. Question of claims. With the plan of action decided, the delegation has decided to formalize their claims on the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Naturally, we made the made sure to inform them that our government's ultimate goal is to unite the southern Slavs of Austro-Hungary under our flag, freeing them of centuries of oppression. We shall free the Slavs. Good. All Slavs together. And hopefully Bulgaria does not interfere with our mission. The meeting has ended, of course. With the plan and intentions clear, the meeting has come to a close. We now march towards the final battle and the establishment of a new order in the Balkans, one where the nations are free from foreign empires and oppression. Onwards, friends, onwards. Oh, the Austrians are marching forward, huh? I wonder how fast we can move. Um, do we get the decision to go against them? Ah, there we go. Attack the Austro-Hungarian Empire. We've gained much more victory in the Third Balkan War, and these new additions should be integrated to the rest of our nation as fast as possible, despite them not agreeing with its decision. Alright, form Yugoslavia would be very nice to do. So we will do that. The dream fulfilled, we will do that eventually. Stabilize Serbian state. And eh, stuff really just can wait. Not really super important to do that. Lessons of the war, modern howitzers. Uh, let's grab the Serbian Mountain Corps. We could use more divisions. Terrain in the Balkans is very mountainous, especially in the lands we wish to reclaim. To assist in the wars to come, the Reform Council is planning on raising a new dedicated Mountain Corps. Equipment or equipped with the best weaponry led by the best generals, they'll be our most elite forces. Very, very good. Now, this does give them time to get soldiers down here, but hopefully it won't be too many, especially once they're fighting the Russians, who has a lot of population, but maybe not too many good divisions. Come on, let's go to war faster, faster, faster. Let's grab some mechanized offensives that we can't really use right now. Um, three. Uh, before we do that, let's take a look and see if they'll attack us first. If not... We're going to try to get to the... Okay, good. Alright, so they're not attacking. Not yet, at least. Oh, they're attacking the Romanians quite heavily, too. Uh, sure, I'll actually take your divisions. Yeah, why not? There you go. You should be able to push through there. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. yes. If you could break over that river, that'd be really good. I don't think they can, though. Yeah, go and hold. The main goal is hold, hold, hold for now. The Romanians are trying to push through, but they've been pushed into. Oh, boy, that's not good. All right. Let them struggle against us. That's fine. Um, we might want to attack here next, maybe. Where's it? Ooh, maybe the mountain's right here. Sarajevo would be nice to have. War bonds, go and do that. War propaganda, might as well. We want to form Yugoslavia. Three. Yes, you can come through our lands. Two. Yeah, that's de this definitely helped them out. Look at that. Oh, the Russians are doing better here now. Most definitely. Help them out. Help them out. You guys help out here too? Yes, you can. Nice. Two front war. for. Oh, they're attacking us as well. Wow, okay, well, they suck. Sarajevo, grab it. Russia invites us to join the Moscow Alliance. The Russian government, led by Alexander Kerensky, has sent us an offer to join the Moscow Alliance. The alliance is aimed at ending European dominance by Austria-Hungary and preventing the spread of radical socialism. Should we consider joining their alliance, or are we better off not joining them? So we abandoned our allies from the Balkan League, which they might not like. But hey, oh, hello. Well, that division is just going to straight up die. Yes. We love Russia. Hmm. 
we do that, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Sarajevo. Yes, you can get through our lands, gladly. And Serbia Mountain Core, very good. Let's go ahead and grab... Uh, begin mechanization, expand the Serbian Aviation Command. The Serbian Air Force, for lack of better term, is no real chance against Austro-Hungarian Lufatrupin. Now, with those dudes reeling back, the Serbian High Command has deemed it fit to expand the air wings, now to find pilots to fly the darn things. Where are they? Where are we, where are we going to throw the air command in? Alright, so we have three more divisions. Nice, and probably 12... Yep, I figured they'd be 12 combat width. But it's better than nothing. Dusan Trifunovic. Um, I should do this too now. There you go. Cool. There you go. Dubrovnik. If you can kill them off there, that'd be great. Keep these guys in place. Nice, we actually killed him. Oh, we got him. Good job, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Are they still attacking us? Maybe a little bit? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Good. Help support the attack. Good. Support weapons are nice. 1940, of course. Maybe get some better fighters, maybe. If we can make better fighters. There you go. These guys are... Oh, God. They can still do naval invasion, so we gotta be careful about that, so. And, come on, move those chubby little legs. Very nice, good job, guys. This doesn't seem like austria hungary is really prepared for this war, but hey, that's okay with us. If that's the case, and they can't really attack us too much. From Yugoslavia, invite, yes, yes. Oh, so we, the Balkan Research Initiative. Um... There we go, each member with a tick. So, actually, research opportunities, Serbia and Romania. Huh. So, you guys are all in here, too. That's nice. Oh, Russia's doing a great job now. That's a pretty good job, even though they're suffering a lot of losses. But that's okay. That's a okay with us. All right. You know, I'm going to go for more attacks. Screw it. More offense, please. Thank you. Get ready to attack again. Go. Send all three of you there. The Russians have shown up. It's only one division we're going to circle, but hey, that takes away their air base from them. And we got Sarajevo. Very nice. Alright, and boom. There we go. There we go. Quickly dismantle them. Very good. Taking out the division by division. Up next. Uh, I guess you just go right there. Keep moving in if you can. Nice. We're going to need more guns, though. Oh, boy. Oh boy, yeah, we're going to need a lot more guns. There you go. And more steel. Uh, I mean, can we do a, just a general attack, maybe? How many men have we lost? 4,000? That's a lot of dead. We've killed off 69,000, basically, so... Uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Who knows? I don't. Maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, cool. Lessons of the war. As glorious as our victory over Bulgaria was, it wasn't a flawless one. Armed with vital experience from the front lines, the Reform Council has already drawn up plans to overcome the mistakes we made, and it's time to put them into action. Great. Those look a lot of manpower. Stockpile-wise, they don't have... They're out of equipment. Wow. Any of these horses. Go up there and cut these guys off. Alright, well, they're out of equipment, and we're out of equipment. Someone's going to have to die here, then. Nice. Uh, this is going a lot easier than I thought it would, I'll be honest. The Russians are definitely bleeding a lot of soldiers right now, but... Mm. Nice, 1940. More artillery, thank you. Proof competing machine, let's grab some better anti-air. Even though we aren't even using anti-air on our soldiers yet. Without her infantry equipment, just throw in the anti-air for now, maybe. There you go, that's nice. That'd be good. It actually gives them more piercing, if I remember correctly, so. Slightly more, not a lot more, but hey, it's okay. Alright, we're taking on a lot of a lot of groups. Not bad. 
Civilian oversight, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Well, do we have any upgrades yet? No? Oh, yes, you guys. Offensive, yes. And B... There they go. Recover a little bit faster. Don't reinforce faster. The Fall of Paris. Oh, boy. That's not good. I don't know how fast we can move here. Um, if you can move up that way, you might be able to take one or two divisions, maybe? Hey! We got one of them. Is it good at? Okay, so yeah, uh, this is going a lot easier than I thought it would. The Russians, while they're really suffering here, this is the Dnieper River, is it? I don't remember. The Dnieper, maybe? Dnieper? Other than that, I mean, they're just pushing through the Ukraine, through the southern part, so. And we're doing a great job, too, so. I'm not really sure what else to say about that, so. I mean, obviously, we're out of guns and such, but whatever. It is what it is. Alright, horse and boys. Go there, there, there. Take Trieste. Wait, I thought I told you to take Trieste. What the heck, guys? I mean, hmm. I don't like how this looks. That's okay, so we do it like this then. There you go. Not bad. Oh, uh, horses, we gotta reform you a little bit better than this. I'll be honest, man, it's not looking good around here. Wait, I did not say force defense. I definitely did not say that. Cut these guys off. Move, move, move. And we're getting attacked, of course, because why not? You guys, just kind of hang out. Hold. Let the Russians hold the line as well. Attack Trias if you can. And Pol is good to get because they have also have a base there, so. Trias is ours. Lessons for war. New army tactics. War has changed. What worked two decades ago will not work today, especially with the advent of the Air Force and the tank. The Reform Council has resolved to train our soldiers and officers alike in the art of modern warfare. Cool. We got Trias. We were defeated a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, we're doing a really, really good job here. We lost 43,000, which is not too much compared to the Ukraine, which is about to fall. And then these guys, we've only killed 166,000 of them. Not bad, not bad. Could be better, but you know what? Not bad. There goes the Ukraine. Oh, and the gateway to the Vienna is pretty much open for all of them. For the Russians, I should say, really. Come on, take Klagenfurt. Move up north. Oh, crap, they caught us. Dang it. And we took Alpha. The Hungary will be ours, maybe as well. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, more divisions. Nice. We're seriously out of a lot of guns. Can no one spare us any guns? Can someone please share some guns with us, please? Um. Oh, okay, cool. We're going to need more manpower. Not going to lie. Yeah, service by requirement. So be it. We took Venice. And if we keep it up, Austria-Hungary just... They can't do anything about this. I don't think they can. austria Dalmer, They're out of guns completely. Just like us. They have more, way more manpower than us, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, are we attacking anywhere good? Approved artillery is nice. It's still 1940. And better engineers, maybe? Maybe better river crossings? Hey, an encircle. Look at that. Beautiful. Research speed? Why not? Because we can, right? Another division goes bye-bye. Lovely. Cut everyone off here. On those hills and mountains. Man, we are going to be marching straight into Vienna. Holy crap. Get there before the Russians show up. That'd be nice. Now, these guys should starve. There's no ports that they can get. And they have a few victory points there, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Modern howitzers. General Nedjik, Nedjik, Nedjik has always supported the doctrine of overwhelming firepower and powerful artillery provides a strong backbone to his plans. Serbia's howitzers are to be feared, and they will be feared again. Nice. Yeah, we're we taking a... Oh, that is not good. Let me close this off. There you go. That's much better. Come on, Russia. Pull your own weight. <laughs> Actually, these horses are uh, not the, quite the right combat width already. Let's see. De -de 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 -de. Lots of horses from Serbia. Uh, engineers and anti-air. That'd be good. Recon. Yeah, we got enough for that. It's fine. The best soldiers. People will dream of being this type of uh, division. Nice. Good. These guys should die soon enough. Oh, do not lose down here, though. 
Come on, guys. You've already lost Vienna, right? Where's Vienna? Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, Vienna's ours. Uh, they should come up pretty darn soon. Uh, they're definitely not pulling their weight, so maybe we should stop attacking maybe so much? Uh, do something like that. And hold on for now, because we got to reclaim our stuff. And I need you guys to go down here, maybe. Take him out. Oh, Russia, why'd you go? No, I'm not going to war them, no. You crazy, you think I'm going to do that? If you get to Trento, that would help limit the amount of supply they can get. So it would be very, very good. Good. Alright, those plans are doing well. Land doctrine is coming along very nicely. Improved anti-air, might as well as well. Good. I'm not going in, guys. You crazy. Um, hmm. Russia, pull your weight, for the love of God. Come on. Come on, Russia. You're not attacking anymore. You're pathetic. Pathetic. Why are you making the Serbs die for this? We're the ones who took Vienna. Modern howitzers. God dang it. Ugh. This is garbage, but foreign fighter acquisition. Serbia currently does not have the sufficient economy to produce a powerful air force to rule the Balkan skies with. Why invest in our, ourselves when we can simply purchase it from foreign powers who do have a capable industry? All right, we got to do this. This is not good enough. Yeah, we've been abandoned by the Russians, basically. They're not. They're refusing to do anything. Yeah, they, they hate the, the Ukrainians, but come on. God dang it, you piece of the garbage. Why did you get us encircled? Seriously, you just condemned this entire division. You piece of the garbage. Russia, get your butts moving. You know, screw it, just hang out there. You get slightly some supply with that base there, so. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Russia? Pathetic. I'm not going to join your stupid war, stupid, stupid ally. Ah. Still might be able to break over there, which would be nice. Uh, actually, yeah, you definitely should be able to actually do it like this. Now they, get, eh, they do have a port over there, but that's fine. Yeah, our guys are not looking good. We need more guns. Way more guns. Thousands of guns. Come on, rescue those horses. Get down to Venice if you can. Coming to France is gone. That's not good. Um, everyone hates Greece, I guess. I'm glad I abandoned that alliance then. Help them out. Keep them in place. Get in there first. Come on. Yes, we got them. God dang it, we lost even more soldiers now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Alright, at this point, you... Wh 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 Russians. What are you stopping for? Why are you stopping? Why? Why did the Russians stop? They condemned our soldiers to death. Why? Okay, whew, we at least got this division in here. Uh, hop out here then. Let's go. You gotta go, 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 go. Force the attack. I don't care what happens. You've got to win and break through. Win and break. Win and break. Oh, God dang it. You pieces of garbage. Russians. I mean, Jesus Christ. Russia. Russia. They condemn the Serbian soldiers to die. I should have never left the faction then. Kill them off. Kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. Austria-Hungary will be nothing but a memory in the footnote of history. Doesn't matter what happens. Kill every single one of them off. Immediately go in. If you die while fighting them, so be it. Uh, modernizes engineering battalions. An unexpected result of a rapid rearmament following the occupation has come to surface. Through our frontline troops are effective. Our support units have been figuratively left behind. The reform council's plans for the modernization and thus have been put into effect. Good. Just, just more guns, 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 guns. I don't care what it takes. You kill every single last one of these sons of guns off. Because Russia is pathetic. They're not going to get any part of Austria-Hungary. Nope. With them just stalling their advance, I mean, you literally condemned hundreds of thousands of Serbs to die, so I don't know what they're thinking. They're not. Nope. You can go do that yourself, you piece of garbage. 
Force, go. You gotta go in there with them. You've got to go in there with them. Kill every single last one of them off. Uh, recon, sure, why not? And then we'll do... It is 41. Happy 1941. Let's grab some more up. Thank you. And to up here. Very nice. And we gotta lower this as well. Close economy. Very good. Don't care. You gotta force attack and kill every single one of them off. There is no stopping here. Don't tell me they're doing force defense. No, they're not. That's good. Yep, we took Prague. That should be it. That should literally be it. They, sh they should not be able to have any more victory points. We take all of Hungary, almost all of Austria. You take Prague. Where's their capital? Where's the capital? Milan? No. No. I don't think Milan. Yeah, well, it's a big city, an important city. No. Krakow would make more sense than Milan. Are you kidding me? With all those Italian nationals down here? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'd rather kill off the horses than let the Austrians live. That's good. Uh, let's go and do stabilize the Siberian, Siberian, Serbian state. Well, we've won the war. There's so much we can improve within our nation, which will ultimately lead to Serbia becoming a more stable nation. You can either win or die, Dusan. So, yeah, screw the Russians. Pieces of garbage. They just let so many people die, and for what purpose? They can have the Ukraine, but I'm taking all of Austria, Hungary. That's it's only fair. It's literally only fair if we do that. No, go kill yourself, Russia. Seriously. You stopped your offenses for what? So Serbs would die? No, 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 no. There's a new power in Southeast uh, Europe here. I almost said Asia for some reason. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. I don't care how many men it costs. Good. More guns. Just infinite guns. Guns, 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 guns. Kill every last Austrian you find. We will bleed them to death. They've only up to 12 divisions, no manpower. Oh, they still manpower, but... Shock and all, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't care what it takes. I do not care what it takes. Uh, do we have any more force attack? Yes. Good. 10% more attack would be nice. I don't care what it takes. I do not care what it takes. We should have air superiority. Yeah, we do. Hmm. Big sadness. Stabilize the Serbian state, freedom of the press. Now lift the ban on political parties. Well, the king's advisors argue that this decision has decided. He has decided to do so anyways against the advice of his advisors. Well, some argue this is a bad idea. It'll surely improve the king's image in the public eye. Good. Kill every last one of these buggers off. If you can move fast enough. Well, go that way then. I'm not coming to your petty little crappy wars. You abandon us, guys. You literally abandon us. So I'm not going to bo be bothered joining your stupid wars, Russia. You stopped attacking. That's like when the Russians stopped moving in 1944 against the uh, Germans in World War II. Like, you just stopped attacking and let the Poles die there. Like, come on. No, 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 no. I don't care how many Serbs have to die for this. We will we will remember this, Russia. All right, we got them. We'll go remaining their stuff all. Well, Italy, you did a good job. Bulgaria, wow. Seriously, okay. I think they they need to readjust the victory points maybe here just a little bit. Bozen as a capital? That makes more sense in Milan. At least that's still Austrian land. I'm sure this is probably core Austro-Hungarian territory, but still. Are you going to win the war or are you just going to lose? Okay, at this point, just go. Come on. Let's go. All right. Uh, the, improve the rights of Kosovan citizens. The persecution of Kosovan citizens within our nation must stop. If we are to be seen as a bastion of prosperity, and we must not continue these petty acts and improve their overall rights. For now. Yes, 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 yes. Good. And grab some of that too. That's fine. Seriously, I do not understand how they're able to hold out. Nope, nope, nope. Force it. I'd rather have the Mountaineers die, and they did die. We will not rest until every Austrian is dead. Ah, uh, sure. Nope, nope. Doesn't matter to me. Austria Hungary must perish. Must, must, must perish. There we go. Good. We got hopefully enough guns coming along. Uh, we're minus 19,000, but what else is new? Good. We got him. That should be enough. Okay, so, Russia, you can have Ukraine, but you deserve absolutely no part of Austria Hungary. Zero part. There you go. That should be more than enough for the Ukraine. Yep. There you go. You can have that. And I'm taking all of Austria Hungary. Hey, do we all? 
Oh, we already own that? Oh, okay. I'm taking it all. Because that's what we deserve. Because screw Russia. And we can form Yugoslavia. Nice. Now that's... Oh, nice, Yugoslavia. Now that's the true owner of the Balkans. Not bad, my friends. And after that, we'll have the dream fulfilled. With Serbdom united under our banner, we must now forge a future for the entire nation, and we must start investing immediately. Let us prepare the next generation of Serbs that will take over after us, so that they'll lead Serbia to even greater glories. It's disappointing we didn't get the uh, thing down here, but that's all right. And I spit some. There you go. Yes. Oh, we're now spy master. Cool. Yeah, screw these guys. They literally abandoned us, and I I said that like sixteen thousand times already, but that's not cool. Oh, there goes Turkey. Goodbye, Turkey. I would like to do at least, well, at least Peter the Second, you know, led us to glory. A united and strong Serbian state? Eh, that's alright. I'm not doing your stupid thing there, guys. I'm sorry, but not really. Cancel non aggression pact. Well, we well, lost a lot of soldiers, but it was worth it against the evils of uh, Austria Hungary. Holy crap. Yeah, go screw yourself, Russia. How dare you stop? There is no stopping for the march forward for progress. And do we get a core stuff here? Or do we already get core? Oh. Huh. Well, they're going after our former allies. Hmm, sure. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, our guy's looking pretty darn depleted. But hey, at least we killed him off. That's the most important thing, right? Hey! Yoshima Africa wants her help? Sure. Yeah, you guys can join too. That's fine too. Yeah, why not? Oh, someone died. I think it was that one dude. Dreams fulfilled. Beautiful. More daily pickle power, recovery rate, st stability, and a research slot. Not bad, but I think that's pretty much what I wanted to do in this campaign. You know, I just wanted to unite all the southern Serbs under one country. And do we have... Oh, we have a lot of resistance still, but that's fine. We'll hopefully have the cores done soon enough. Um, uh, yeah, we own all that stuff. Hopefully we get cores. Where do they get cores? Oh, we can start coining stuff like this. We're gonna board it. Oh, we need more, way more political power for this. There we go. That's gonna be nice. Cool. So I apologize for being a little bit, not ragey, but just irritated earlier. It is what it is, you know. Cool. And only one a day. That sucks. I'll get the dream fulfilled and it should be okay. Oh, the dreams of Yugoslavia. Uh, oh, wait, you get a defense bonus against Croatia? I, thought, I didn't know Croatia existed. Cancel lend lease. Um, I think we'll give that part to Russia, maybe, but we'll see what happens. Slightly laggy, but it's July 4th. Happy 1941. We should get way more manpower once we core everything, though. Oh, still mobilizing. That's nice. Cancel lend lease. Sure. Alright, so we have no power here, basically. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, but might just do this off screen then. Alright, so here we are, October 12th, 1941, and we're still looking pretty good as we are slowly, slowly trying to core more and more of, well, what will be our territory of Yugoslavia. We got a little bit more manpower now, we're doing freedom of the press, but I did improve troop movements. If we are to effectively wage war, we must improve our infrastructure so we'll be able to move our troops from one corner of the nation to the other. <clears throat> I think we already read this one. If not, you can go right ahead and read it. We're, I already did improve the rights for Kosovan citizens. Uh, yeah, I think we already read this one. The persecution of Kosovan citizens within our nation must stop. If we are to be seen as the bastion of prosperity, we must not continue these petty acts and improve their overall rights. It is what it is. Um, 1941. Uh, grab some oil, because we could always use more oil, right? I've also done freedom of the press. Once again, the king has decided to grant more freedoms to the people of Serbia. Like his decision to lift the ban on political parties, this action will certainly improve the king's image, a united and strong Serbian state. After all the reforms passed by the king, the nation has never been more united. Patriotism and nationalism are at all-time high, and the people are willing to fight for their nation. And did I read this one? Maybe not. While the constitution works just fine, there are a few tweaks that can be made in order to better the lives of all those living within Serbia. Of course, we already did that one. Other than that, I don't think I've too done too much else here. So, I think maybe foreign fighter acquisitions. I think we already read that one. So, other than that, there's really not much else here. I still would like to make sure that we can actually core everything here just because we can. And the game goes on by fast enough that we just let time go on. Take, let time do its thing. It's 41. It's almost 42. Might as well grab some advanced competing machines. Hopefully, Germany never goes to war with us. But, overall, not too bad. Obviously, Russia took over all these different areas. Or, I forced them to take it all over. So, yeah, Russia definitely has got a lot more influence. But, I apologize for my... Uh, 
A little spat of irritation and frustration earlier because of the Russians, but hey, you know what? They deserved it. Also, we did puppet Romania too, just because we could. Uh, I gave the Russians Bessarabia. I gave Bulgaria some of their uh, Dobruja back, basically. And Romania now is fully under us, which is nice. Led by the king still, of course. And it was weird to see that Russia and Bulgaria both touch each other. Kind of odd. Kind of actually pretty darn odd. Oh, uh, we can only get Tawa to 1.3 every single day. Not bad. 70 day focus. Oh my goodness, a 70 day focus. Oh, good lord. Oh no, 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 no. Keep pushing us up. And after that one we shall do... Uh, doctrinal studies? Further studies are to be conducted of Serbia at the mass of the skies. Never again shall the enemy completely dominate our airspace. And it's almost happy 1942, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Alright, are we done yet with this one? Like, holy crap, 70 day focuses. Oh, jeez, I know it. No, we actually lose some recruitable population factor. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we're actually demobilizing now. Oh, boy, that is not nice. That is quite not nice. I'll do that one too. Cool. Overall, it looks like uh, resistance is going down all over the place. And I think it was in the game rules that we cannot liberate people or make pu puppets unless you, you know, edit it for a custom game rule. Which is fine, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about that too much. Get all the way through. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'll put down a lot more resistance. Still going down all across the board, which is super nice. 98 factory. Notice we got plenty of guns now. Nice. Artillery. But as you can tell from the title, this is the last episode in this campaign, which is you know, kind of fine with me. Kind of like, I love these little short campaigns. It's kind of fun playing short campaigns, to be honest. I'll be honest. It is kind of fun playing short campaigns. And, okay, so... Vojvodina is now ours. Let's grab more rubble processing and then extraction. How about we grab some more radar because we can. Anything else here? No. Maybe one, two, three, and that might be it for us. Oh, let's take a look. Compliance-wise, we go boom, boom, boom. Not bad. Not a core, not a core, not yet. Uh, can we get Slovenia as a core? That'd be kind of nice as well. Doctrinal studies. Are we done with our land doctrine? Uh, pretty much. We never even had to build up our uh, Bulgarian defensive lines. And to integrate the Montenegrin economy. If we're to take full advantage of the booming economy in Podgor Podgorka, then large stops will be needed to take in to centralize the Union's economic structure. Integration of their banks and factories will be slow, but it'll be a lucrative one once it's finally finished. Cool, and that should be it. I, I want to wait and see what happens down here. We got like a few weeks left for that, so that's not too bad. We can wait a little bit longer, that's fine. Um, yeah, overall, not too bad. austria Hungary was honestly a little bit easier than I thought it would, would be to take out. Obviously, I still struggled, it's because, just mostly because of the Russians. We've said that enough times, though. Overall, not too bad. Obviously, as the Serbians, we don't really need to focus too much on our navy, which is pretty nice. And how many planes did we end up with? 100 and 100, not bad. Can we duplicate these guys? Somewhat. And you guys can go right there. Nice. Very nice. Almost done coring. I want to finish up the coring, just so that we can proudly say that we've done all that we can, and we're building up a lot of infrastructure and the kingdom. The Thick Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Dual monarchy is kind of cringe, man. What about the Kingdom of Yugoslavia? Especially after our former king died, Peter did take over. But rest, rest, bless, rest and bless his heart, King Alexander. Cool. Now, almost done right there. Almost done. Yeah, I got time for one more. Connect the railways, perhaps? Owning to the mutual hatred of Vienna and us, gaps in our railways exist along the former Montenegrin border. Let us bridge the gap and uh, bring a country together. And that should be it. That's all we can core. All right, then. Not bad. Look at that. Yugoslavia is nice and thick, even though we don't have Slovenia, which is kind of disappointing. But regardless, that's going to be the campaign, my friends. A nice little short campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. And have a great, great rest of your day.